Alright, so I'm back at the cottage after quite some time not coming. I thought I'd bring the camera. This is about my second time shooting the 1887, the Winchester lever action shotgun, so I thought I'd bring the camera along to show you guys how it shoots. I have some little shells here that are reloaded. These are just two and three quarters, but they are extremely small since I have to cut the crimp off and then roll crimp them again. So you see that an original shell like this, for example, is super, well, this is two and a half. This is about two inches. So you see that it's a lot longer. So this, this doesn't really want to cycle. And this will cycle pretty much every time from what I see, but I have never shot some of these and I'm going to do some load testing. So both these are black powder. This is just seven and a half standard shot. And then this is number four buckshot in here with quite a decent amount of black powder. So I'm just doing a little bit of load testing here and there, like I said. So let's get started. Here is the shotgun here I'll be shooting. An 1887 Winchester lever action shotgun. It was made in 1888, so second year of production. Let's see here the little engraving on the side. This is a 12 gauge, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that, but it's a 12 gauge. So, yeah, first I'll shoot these little shells. I don't know if I'll be able to get a shot of it. But the way you load these is just open it here. And then it's pretty tricky. You have to push this elevator down. Then I see people drop the shell in it and then try to push it in. But it doesn't work because the shells kind of get stuck at the bottom. So get it in here. Start right away at an angle. And then push them in. Like so. And that usually works pretty well. Then the shell remains in there. So to get it to get up on the elevator itself you have to close it I don't know if you'll hear it here but you'll hear the spring push it in there you go now it's in and it's cocked and ready to rock there so it's down range I just put a little target I'm trying to work here in about five feet of snow so I have some like up to my waist if you guys give you a good shot of this then again this is just seven and a half uh, standard shot okay so it helps also if you uh if you put the, the round in the chamber. But see, as you can see, it's kind of short and it gets stuck at, at an angle, like I said. I don't know if you can see that. So you have to kind of help it in. If I could get it out of the elevator, that would be great. Okay. See, now I just push it in. Oh, yeah. Now it's in. There you go. And to eject, I don't know if it's going to work. Sometimes it gets stuck, but you just really have to work these things like they owe you money, you know? See, there you go. It gets it gets stuck on the uh, on the elevator right here. I'll go and get more and I'll I'll shoot a few more. Got three more three more shelves here. I'm load these. There's few videos I find on original 1887s. There's more on the, I think that's like a PDW 87, the Chinese replica. So I thought I'd just share a shooting video. Like I said, this is the second time I, I see that one loaded. The second time I shoot it, so I'll try to give you guys some good angles here. That one ejected. See, th these ones all, all fed in there properly. Also, with the plastic shells, which, I mean, they weren't made for black powder. Black powder burns pretty hot. They, if you can see this, I'm trying to look through the little screen here. You can see it's, uh, I don't know if it's focusing, I don't think it is, but the rims just melt. So these are pretty much, I mean, you could reload these, but the rims are melted and they'll just become shorter and shorter every time. So, I mean, I just discard those things. 
So now I'll go for the two and a half inches the cowboy loads. These are loaded with pistol primers. So I'll see what I could do with those. And I want to see if the hot glue that you're supposed to put will hold the shot in. I doubt it, but I'll I'll see what happens. Alright, so like I said, I have three shells here. I'm just gonna see if they they will work. Same thing as the other one, just except these ones are a bit longer, so they go a little bit better. Come in at an angle and just push them. I hope they'll hold in the shot because I don't feel like cleaning out the whole gun, dismantling it afterwards. Maybe these things feed super well. But first time shooting these, so hopefully it goes well. Well, it blew the target right out of, uh, let's see, now this one didn't want to eject for some reason. And I won't, I won't work the lever really fast on these things just because they're quite expensive and I don't want them to go flying in the snow. See, these go in super smooth, really nice. Now my target fell on the ground. See the ejector, get a shot of that, then it pops it right out. Now pop another one in. Yeah, yeah, these these work super nice. I'll go and get the target after, see what it looks like. I mean, you can see what black powder does. I mean, it, these are brand new, never shot before. And now they're all just, they're got some character now. <sighs> yep, yeah. so here we go. That was the 1887 with brass shells and plastic shells. Now I'll go get the target and then show you guys what happened. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, the target pretty much destroyed. I'm shooting maybe, I don't know. I'm really not that far. Uh, maybe like 10 yards, I'd say, maybe 10 yards, 15 yards. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's like cylinder in those things. They're not even full choke or anything. But yeah, I can't target. The, the bigger holes are number four buckshot. That's what I reloaded the other ones with. That's not number four shots, it's number four buckshot, so they're pretty large. And that's what the back of it looks like. So obviously seven and a half, there's a lot more pellets, so it hits them. I think seven and a half is like a hundred some pellets in one shell for an ounce-ish. And then for an ounce of number four buckshot, there's around 20 to 23, I think, so. Yep, that's what it does. Pretty happy with the results. And these were extremely light loads from my for the, the cowboy shooting they say the cowboy shooting uh, black powder it's about an ounce of shot with three drams I think or two and a half I put a black powder just for an ounce of shot so really really light loads but I just wanted to test it out test all the action and everything how it worked so glad everything worked out not really a super high quality video or anything but uh just wanted to, to give you guys a couple views of the the gun itself shooting probably one of the coolest guns in my opinion so thanks for watching